one-way time. Accessories are a bit out of the comfort zone for most of us. So, does anyone have any experience accessory-wise? I've done loads of beaded jewelry, and I took a casting metal class back home in Australia. This may be a little too ambitious, but what if we did a pair of shoes? <gasps> shoes? Ambitious? <laughs> that is absolutely bananas, Michelle. I've handmade boots and sandals for theater costumes before. Honestly, it uses a lot of the same skills as sewing. Oh, and I've been wanting to try to make high heels that can't break even with multiple dance numbers. Heels, really? You know, I've had this idea for a pair of rainbow bottom heels. Those shoes? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Earrings, a stack of bracelets, and heels. Go Team Rainbow High! Hmm. What about this? It's a sweatshirt? Yeah, it's a school spirit jersey for an anti-sparkle crew. Us! Shadow High. Oh, I get it. I just want to make sure it really says anti-sparkle, you know? Hmm. It certainly says anti-sparkle. Bold move. But I like it. It's simple yet effective. I love the play on school spirit from the Shadow High POV. Now stop me if you have something better, but I have a vision of what Luna's outfit needs to be. This is going to be iconic. I love the silhouette. It's funky and edgy. I'm not buying Sunny's tired old style evolution. Definitely not hating this design, but I'm worried it's missing the classic Luna touch. Hmm, taffeta could work. It's stiff, so it's easy to shape. I'm thinking organza extravaganza. How about the biggest, poofiest, most volumiest tool? Yes, theatrical but classy. I love it. But it's sunny, so we can't go too formal. What about a jacket up top to keep it low key? Ooh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, I have notes and a box of inspo from Sunny's closet. First off, that skirt's gotta go. In addition to being a total trip hazard, it's covering up the super cool clogs and socks you made that are so sunny. So bye-bye, tool. Here's Sunny's favorite tee. Uh, that'll look great under the jacket. I <laughs> love it. And what if we use Sunny's illustrations on the skirt? Yes! Oh, and something form-fitting. Hmm, something the opposite of tool. <gasps> Maybe vinyl. Oh, can you hand me Mr. Snugs? I have an idea. Perfect. Formerly known as Snugs. So smart of you to bring back my signature silver top. The whole outfit feels cohesive. The lace details really pop. Nice job. All right, I'm inspired. Let's go. Midfield check in time. Wow, what is this? A blank canvas. It's conceptual. Hmm, 
Intriguing. I'm interested to see how it all comes together on the runway. Concepts are great, but make sure it's something people want to wear. And that it reads as clothing. <laughs> it feels a bit all over the place. Like a mishmash of designs. Well, <laughs> it's supposed to. Our inspiration came from a bunch of different art. But shouldn't it feel cohesive? Trust the process and let the designers design, Delphina. Hey, you okay? You were right. We should have chosen one piece for inspiration. Well, it's not over yet. There's just so many. How do you pick just one and know in your gut it's the one? Because it makes you feel something. Like this one for me. My mom has a full set of Delph pottery like these. We had family dinners on them every night. So it reminds me of home. It feels like home. Huh, yeah. And you know, you'd look great in something inspired by it. <gasps> Wait. Okay, team, we have to start over. But this time, I have a vision. But time's almost up. We have just over an hour. No, we can do this. I believe in us and in our model. Trust me. This feels so right. And perfect. you a rainbow ball gown is the way to go rainbow shmambo i'm game for a gown but what about all white the absence of color or all black all the colors a circle also means infinity there's definitely something there with the shape what about the circle of life i love Ooh, that genius wow. so what do you have in mind two words poppy rowan I'm obsessed with Poppy Rowan's butterfly dress. Butterflies represent the circle of life, going from caterpillars to larvae to butterflies. So I have a twisted idea for a dress. Team One is gonna smash this challenge. So we're set on using as many colors as we can in the design. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the more colors, the merrier. But there are an infinite number of colors on the color wheel. How are we gonna decide? Actually, there are 18 decillion colors. That's 18 with 33 zeros. Oh, let's create an almost infinite number of ever evolving circles, like spring coils. We should make a spring coil gown. I don't hate it. <laughs> Me neither. We're agreed. Let's get to work. Ooh, do my eyes deceive me? Or is Team One weaving lace? Bob and lace. We have an amazing idea for this dress. Rex had the amazing idea. Bob and lace is one of the faster ways to weave, but time is running short. Will you be able to finish? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Easy. Great, good luck. Easy? Ah, I've been working for hours and I have one inch of this dress done. We'll all pitch in. Everyone, grab a spool and let's get weaving.
contact with Maria, and we can only use our accessory material since that was our official first challenge. But how are we supposed to reuse a bit of leather, wire, and beads to make an entire formal look? If anyone can, it's us. You know, if you layer beads just right, they look like scales. Chainmail. Oh, I've made chainmail costumes before. What if we made a sort of jewel mail dress? Love it. Let's get to work. I was going for a trendy party dress. It feels so casual and droopy. And I'm not a fan of repeating ourselves. What if we did ditch the party dress and went full ball gown? And we could use the droop to our advantage and have it spill onto the ground into a dramatic train. It could really cast a shadow on the competition. It's dynamic, multidimensional, and glamorous! What is a starfish anyway? I'm pretty sure it's not a fish or a star. A sand dollar? Real right? It's <laughs> very flat and beige. And basic. I'm so glad I have immunity this week. Get it together, Shadow High. There's so much to be inspired by. I'm already buzzing with images of haute couture and dollar signs. Come on, Shadow High. We got this. Sand dollars are fetch. My mom brought me one back from her trip to Hawaii, and I always keep it in my room for good luck. Looking incredible, team! A jumpsuit, bold choice. We were inspired by the structured lines of the starfish's arms. But as it is right now, the suit looks a little off the rack. <gasps> Make sure it says high fashion runway, not work day at the beach. Totally. You heard her. We need runway wow. Victoria, you okay? I'm sorry. I'm just feeling creatively blocked. The creative life is full of challenges. When I'm feeling stuck, I find it best to step outside the box and try to see the challenge with new eyes. I'll try that. New eyes. Eyes! That's it! Lame ruffles? Clever! Work wear with a runway flare. I feel sandy just looking at it. But like, uh, in a good way. <laughs> oh. <gasps> we could do astronaut chic. Oh, that could maybe work. Or cosmic goddess. Well, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Futuristic fashionista. We need the most out of this world thing we can think of. Ooh, I know. Aliens. Yes, an in vogue alien. A modern Martian. Hmm, that could be cool, but I'm not sure the song is literally about space. If you really take a look at the lyrics. Hey, what about this? Oh, uh. I like that. Ugh. We're getting nowhere with these ideas. What would best represent Delilah's song and give Sabrina the most confidence while performing? 
Okay, so the lyrics are talking about how being out of this world is all about stars colliding, burning bright, and gravity not holding you down. So the astronomy imagery is a metaphor? Yeah, and I think it's really about confidence being what makes you shine bright. Well, what shines brighter in the sky than the sun? And the moon. Oh, I've missed you so much. Sometimes less is more. Maybe we should remove a piece or three of jewelry. Are you sure? You can't have enough sparkle and shine, right? Actually, I feel stellar now, way less weighed down. And now the design can really speak for itself. Hmm. I know I'm an extraterrestrial and all, but this feels a little <laughs> extra. I can barely move in it. Yeah, 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 fashion is sacrifice. I think it's perfect. If our model doesn't feel confident in it, maybe we should reconsider. But what can we do at this point? Hmm. If she feels like she can't move, we can add a slit to the skirt so she can walk more easily. Do we even have time for that? Hand me my seam ripper. We can be whatever you want, girl. Make the rules up as we go, girl. Step into our power, a moment of golden hour, possibilities out of this world, girl. Take a look in the mirror. I think the idea of prom puts too much pressure on finding the perfect dress. It's outdated and well, boring. Ooh, what if we design a formal pantsuit instead? Like an avant-garde tux? What? Absolutely not. The majority of us want to wear dresses to prom, so we're designing a dress. But why design for the majority? Yeah, shouldn't we design something for all types? The Rainbow High motto is let your true colors shine. It means everyone's taste is different and how that's a good thing. So what you're saying is we should design half a dress and half a pair of jeans. Not jeans, but some luxe pants with a flawless gown might be a great idea. Just make sure we can dance in it. Yes, Ruby does have all the moves. <laughs> <laughs> The more experimental, the better when it comes to shadow high style. And the color palette is soups important too. Of course. Yes, it must be a mood. What does that even mean? Mm, I don't know how to define it, but I know it when I see it. And I would say no pink. Uh, really? I like pink. I think pink is okay, depending on how it's used. If it's like the perfect groundbreaking pink. No pink, maybe pink, must be perfect pink. Got it. You know, shimmer and shine makes me think iridescence. So what if we do an iridescent ombre effect with layers like this? Ooh. <laughs> and what color will you ombre? Pink. The perfect pink. What? Okay. We still don't know what we're making. A ball gown, which is the right way to go, or a pantsuit, which I can't even. Maybe you can do both. We did both. You hated it. What I mean is do both, just make it less of a fashion faux pas. The pants can't be an afterthought. What if they're a surprise second act? I have no idea what that means, but I'd be excited to wear it. Hmm. I'm not being biased. This is even more gorgeous than before. Yeah, 500 layers later. But it's still missing something. Are we making it 501 layers, Bradshaw? No, the theme. No shimmer, no shine. The layers are hiding the iridescence of the dye. From close up, you can kind of see it, right? Um, I'm as close up as you can get and I don't see it. Rhinestones? Remember, this is Shadow High we're designing for. Trust me. Hmm. Seriously, I might have to switch schools like you, Ains, just to wear this to Shadow High's prom. I did not 
think there were enough layers in the world to make that dress work. But it looks great, right? Who knew I could love a pink dress? That dress speaks to me, but it's not for my school. But it's made by people from my school. But shouldn't I vote for my team? Oh, what do I do? This is gorgeous. But what happened to Ainsley's vision? Ah! Here it is! Ah! Double wow! I don't know. I miss the dress version. Violet! What? We're judges. We're supposed to be judgy. <laughs> I'm going full on mythic. Something that will stand out when I win. Love that confidence, Chanel. And this crown. Hey, Jade. What do you think? Definitely giving me great goddess vibes. I think we go with something understated, but classic for makeup. Totally. Ooh, <laughs> modern minimalism. Love. Yeah. I want a crown I can actually wear when I'm designing my follow-up to the big Project Rainbow win. Um, officially volunteering to model that collection, too. Let's go big on the makeup look. Dramatic cat eyes and serious sparkle. Whoa, Ainsley! Princess power! Ooh, this tiara is giving me major Buckingham Palace vibes. If we have to duke it out for a crown, better make it one worth fighting for. Totally. But that's not quite your usual style. That's what I was thinking, too. Not that I'm complaining. It's to get in the finals. I gotta give the judges what they want, right? Okay, team, this is it. I want to lean into technique. Gorgeous design and perfect couture details. Love it! Gorgeous design and perfect couture details is my middle name. I've thought it over, gang, and I think we need to swing for the moon. I'm seeing gorgeous, hand-painted, one-of-a-kind fabrics. Skylar, these are amazing. We can start simple and build up in complexity, but we're doing it the hard way from scratch. I just hope we have enough time. I'm thinking maybe I should just design my own. How? Huh? That's a lot of extra work. It's the only way I can be sure to get exactly what I have in my head. Mm. Huh. I got it. Awesome. What can we do to help? I'll sketch up what I'm picturing. Chanel, there you are. Yeah. Maria, hi. Is it mid-build check-in already? Rex, can you give the judges a little show and tell to make space for Maria? Girl, you know I got you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Good delegating, Chanel. And how are things going with the models? Chanel is the best. Thanks, Lilac. So are you. Skylar, what do you think of this teal? I like it. Maybe just add a tad more green. And a bit more yellow to that goldenrod. Perfection! And what do we have going on here? Custom fabric, ambitious. Hi! <laughs> and yes, I'm hoping it's not too ambitious given our time restraints. It looks great to me, and your team seems in sync. We really are! are. That, that keeps, keeps happening! happening. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Group mind, I love it! Keep doing what you're doing. And models, how are things going on Team Skylar? Skylar's designs are amazing and fit to a T, as always. It's so quiet. I never thought I'd be relieved to be out of the spotlight for a bit. But this is nice. So, so nice. nice! Jinx! Jinx, Jinx again! again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Love that! That's so creative! What do you think? It's me, right? It looks great on you. But I also love it. Another pick for our selfie wall? Mm-hmm. Oh, so quiet you could hear a pin drop. I finally get it. <laughs> Maybe that's enough of the extreme quiet. Hey, Skylar, would you mind if I turned on some music? Mind? It's like you read my mind. Lilac, what about one of your famous work playlists? Coming right up, Sky. Uh, would anyone else be down for ordering in some food? Oh, yes. Nice. Starving. Pepperoni and mushroom. mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Grab the outfits and get them somewhere dry. Rex, ah! air out the studio. Ah! Be careful. Oh, cover that. Oh, I got the drugs. Oh, Grab our babies. My collection. Oh, what? Thank goodness you used that vegan leather. It really holds up to water. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Oh, Skylar. Ah. I'm so sorry, Skylar. What can we do to help? We still have a few hours. Maybe we can work together and create new hand-drawn art and- Hold on, I'm thinking. Would you look at that? <laughs> Tell us a little about your collection. Hello and welcome to the pinnacle of my Project Rainbow career. I am so happy to be here and absolutely thrilled to share my complete collection with all of you. First, a special shout out to my team and to my friend and fellow finalist, Skylar, who made sure I stayed at the top of my game and who I am proud to call a friend in addition to my competition. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, a little about my collection. As a proud Shadow High student, I wanted to create a capsule wardrobe that encapsulated who I am. Stylish, versatile, stands out at any event, and most of all, made to last, just like I did in this entire competition. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah! Just look at those grommets Rex did. Perfection. That lacing, so on point. I'm in love with how that neckline turned out. Go me! She'll give me that jacket or make me one like it. I really loved that crop mop. So cute. Well done, Chanel. The judges look impressed, as well they should be. We'll get feedback and judgments from them in a bit. But first, it's Skylar's collection's turn on the runway. Skylar Bradshaw, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Project Rainbow. Being on Project Rainbow has been a dream come true. Working with some of my amazing Rainbow High friends, to making new friends, <laughs> and of course, getting to meet one of my heroes, Maria Garcia. Project Rainbow built up my confidence as a designer. The show's endless twists kept me on my toes and helped me know I can always dig deeper and find new ways to be creative. And making it to the finals is just more than I could ever ask for. But last night, we had a small accident in the Project Rainbow workshop and all my hard work was literally washed away just hours before the runway. Oh, what? Oh, oh that 
porn for nothing? That's awful. That's when I realized what every twist of Project Rainbow taught me. That thanks to creativity, I have the power to shape my future into something I couldn't even imagine when I started. So I switched gears. And now let the show go on. Each member of my team designed the fabric of one of the outfits. But once they all walk the runway, I have a little twist of my own. to represent the endless well of creativity that all the twists and turns of Project Rainbow and life can unlock in us. So, introducing the twist of my design. Each of my outfits has endless possibilities. Whoa, look at that. Oh, now that is a great twist. So cool. So smart. Oh, wow. So powerful. Both designers gave the best runway ever. <laughs> Standing ovation. I meant to do that. SOS, I don't know how to fix this thing. I got this. This is sick, total next level. Our group is really lucky to have you, Amaya. I mean that. I do. Thanks. Two minutes till curtain. Oh, ahead! No, no rain, no rainbows. I want to create and accomplish as an artist. It can be really rough, but that's definitely what made me who I am. So I'm grateful. <gasps> that's my rainbow. I think in music, but it means I can get super distracted and it's not so great for my friendships. When I focus and connect with other people, I find my rainbow. My music has been better because of it. is illustrating my daydreams and turning them into whole new worlds. I hope my friends watch my work and feel like they can be open to, even when it's hard. My biggest goal when I give someone a makeover is to give them enough confidence to be themselves, even when they take the makeup off. I practice that on myself every day. My rainbow is learning to take credit for my designs and hear what people really think of my work. It's hard to put myself out there, but it's seriously making me a better designer and teammate every single day. I put a lot of my life online. It's a lot of pressure to be so on all the time. And it's definitely easy to lose track of real life. But my friends keep me grounded. They're my reality check and my rainbow. Sometimes I change my designs and myself so much I can lose track of the original seriously do anything to adjust things until people like them. So I'm always working on keeping myself grounded and remembering what I'm made of. The whole rainbow. Yeah. 